If this doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. The rapper Ice Cube recently got a real grilling on Twitter about why Chris Tucker wasn't in his latest Friday film. One man even wrote this, I thought I heard Chris Tucker quit over money. This is what Ice Cube replied, we were ready to pay Chris Tucker 10 to 12 million dollars to do next Friday, but he turned us down for religious reasons. He didn't want to cuss or smoke weed on camera anymore. In a moment's time, we're going to hear Chris Tucker's side of the story, but before that, let me tell you why this blessed me so much. Right now, we are having many celebrities step up and name Christ, but I want to say this, just because they're naming Christ doesn't mean that they know Christ. Jesus Christ said, by their fruits you shall know them. And when it really comes down to the hard decision of whether they will choose their clout or their Christianity, Many of them often do choose their clouts. They make decisions that a true Christian would not make. They say things that a true Christian would not say. And they live like an unbeliever. And they think if they just say, I love Jesus Christ, the Christian community will be fooled. But the truth is this, just because we're born again, doesn't mean that we were born yesterday. But here is a world famous actor, Chris Tucker, and he's saying, I am not prepared to smudge the name of Christ for money. You see, $12 million is a lot of money, and imagine if you were in Chris Tucker's shoes. What would you do? Imagine what you could do with that money. Imagine all the fame, all of the success that would come with taking this role, and yet Chris Tucker said no. And not only has he said no to the Friday film, he's also said, now when I do my stand-up comedy, I need to try and be cleaner. I can't use the same jokes that I used when I was young, because right now, I want to live like a true Christian. I've never told anyone this story before. For. But what Chris Tucker has just done hits home more than I'd like to admit. Growing up, I had one goal in life. I wanted to be a professional actor. It's all I thought about. I was obsessed with this idea of being in Hollywood, being famous. But there came a time where I really did get a heavy conviction of sin. I knew that if I died, I was condemned. I knew that if I stood before a holy God, I would be cast into hell forever. But I still did not come to Christ. The answer, the remedy to my sin, the one who died on the cross, I refused to come to Christ because I loved loved acting too much, and I knew I wouldn't be able to do the blasphemous parts, I wouldn't be able to swear, I wouldn't be able to do rude scenes or violent scenes, because as a Christian, we're called to be holy, and I knew that was not the life of a Christian for me personally. But then my pastor challenged me one day, and he said, Joe, I don't really think you've got an excuse there. We need more Christians in the media. And I thought, wow, that's a real weight off my shoulders. And so that day, I committed my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's fast forward two years on and I was at an audition. It was actually a recall for one of the most prestigious drama schools in all of the world. It was called Lambda. It's where Benedict Cumberbatch has been, where Donald Sutherland has been, where Kim Catterall, David Suchet, all the finest actors in Britain went to that drama school. And here I was. I had been whittled down from thousands and I had got a recall. And at the end of the day, as the audition had gone really quite well, they asked me to do one thing. They said, I want you now to kiss this woman in a a dramatic scene. And all of the men before, they had kissed her. And all the girls before, they had kissed a male actor. So it was my job now to kiss this female actor in a dramatic scene. What do you think I did? Well, I was engaged to my wife at the time, and I knew that it was wrong for me to kiss this woman when I had vowed that I was going to marry this lady. And so, I refused to kiss her. Needless to say, I didn't get into the drama school. And pretty much from that day on, I realized I had to lay down this idol in my life. I couldn't be an actor and a Christian at the same time. I'm not saying that other people can't do that, but for me, that was the wrong decision. And every single one of us has an idol that's in our hearts. Every single one of us has a cross to bear, and we know there is a sacrifice that we have to make if we come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to know what is the sacrifice, what is the thing that is standing in your way from committing fully to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Because whatever it is, you know you've got to slay that thing, repent of your sins, and come to the cross and give all to Jesus. You see, many people know that Jesus Christ died on a cross for your sins. They know that he was punished. He took all of your rubbish, all of your sin, and there he was crucified so that you could be forgiven. Many, many people know that Jesus Christ, on the third day, he rose from the dead, meaning that any person who will come to him and put their trust in him, they will have eternal life. Many people know these things, but very few know this, that we are called 
to count the cost. Jesus Christ himself said, how many of you would set out to build a tower without counting the number of bricks you need to finish it? I mean, how foolish you would look if you started to build that tower but then never finished it. How many of you would go to war with just 10,000 soldiers, but 20,000 came to fight you? No, we need to count the cost of being a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the reality is, many start this race, but very few finish it. Because once the trials and tribulations of this world come, they fall away. Once things start to get difficult, they think this Christianity isn't what I signed up for. As Leonard Ravenhill once said, many people go to the cross, but they don't get on the cross. They don't realize that every single day we have to lay down our life and say, no, my sin, my desires, they are nothing compared to knowing the Holy One of Israel, following Jesus Christ and loving him and him alone. Even this month, I received a very upsetting letter from a lady. She said, I prayed and prayed to God that he would save my dog and the dog died. And many times people say, I prayed that my grandma would live. I prayed that I would have healing and it never came. So this Christianity doesn't work out. But the truth is this, you will suffer in this life. And when those hard decisions come, when there comes a point where we have to say, no, I'm going to deny myself, I'm gonna deny my flesh, my flesh, every part of me wants to go back to that sin that I once cherished, but I'm gonna say no, because knowing Jesus Christ is more precious. And really, that's the question I want to ask you right now today. Is Jesus Christ precious is he worth it and i would like to shout with every fiber in my being yes he is he is totally worth it to be friends with the savior of the world is more precious than gold it's more precious than rubies and it's certainly more precious than 12 million dollars chris tucker over to you correct me if i'm wrong that the reason why you wasn't going to do another friday was because they didn't pay you, man. Not oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Back then, I got to tell you, one of the reasons why I didn't do the second one, because of the weed. Because I said, man, that movie became a phenomenon. I, want everybody, I don't want everybody smoking weed. And I never really told people this because I kind of forgot about it. But it was yeah. one of the reasons why I didn't do it because I said, I don't want to represent you know, everybody smoking weed. I kind of made it more personal than a movie. And that's one of the reasons I said, nah, I didn't want to keep doing that character. Chris Tucker, Kodak Black, Will Smith, Megan Fox, and Travis Scott are just a few celebrities that I've covered on this channel. If you'd like to watch one of those videos, please click here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I'd love to see you again. God bless you all, and thank you for watching.